Um, for those of you that know me, I don't do this very often, so this is frightening. Um, it's a rant. It's hard to follow up uh, all that good stuff. Like, uh, being very, like, what did you say? Like, excellently forgetful? Something that was fantastic. Um, we talked about pussy. We talked about, we talked about committed relationships. Um, and we talked about cock, too. None of which, well, actually, maybe we'll talk about right now. Um, I know, I know a lot of you here, either well or as acquaintances, so hi. Uh, do, are there any HPD in the room? Good, let's talk about them. Okay. Uh, I haven't been here very long, but I have this theory that, that HPD should, like, you shouldn't be able to police the island that you're from. I think that I think that you should have to be deported to a different island, <laughs> and you can police that island because there's just so many favors and yep. corrupt yeah. shit that happens. <laughs> Allow me to share a story. <laughs> <laughs> so again, like I haven't been here I've been here 12 years, so it's not it's not a lot of time. It's not a lot. I don't I don't pretend that it is. But I recently I've been in Waimea for three years. I recently bought a house here, but I was on a house hunting process for some time. I was looking at some houses down by Lindsay. I was looking in Javi. I was looking in, um, God, this is where the story takes place. Where is it? Kohala Estates. Okay, has anybody been to Kohala Estates? Does anybody live in Kohala Estates? Or you've been, right? Like open roads, big houses. I also, I drive a lot for work. So I recently bought a car that's very comfortable and pretty fast. Um, it's a Lexus GS something, whatever. It's fast, okay, and so I take advantage. So anyway, I was looking at this house in um, Koala View, no, Koala Estates, and it was late in the afternoon because I had just seen the listing, and I was cruising, went to see the house with my agent, and left, and I was, I came from down on Quinnipulli Highway, and I was, I live up here, rental. Um, so I was coming up, and I was kind of tearing ass, yeah, That's pretty good. All right, anyway. So I'm cruising kind of quick. I got a clip. Coming up the hill because I got to get home. And this fucking tabby or calico, I don't know, cats, ran in front of me and I clipped that thing. <laughs> Fuck. But there was like, it was dead. Like, it was dead. Come on. I mean, it wasn't like I aimed for it, but I hit it. Yeah. Fine. I didn't aim for it. I swear to God, I didn't. I swear to God. So I kept going, but I don't know. There must have been a cop on the side street and came up behind me and whoop, whoop, pull over. Comes up to the door. He's like, Are you worried that you just had a cat? I'm like, um, yeah. He's like, And you didn't stop? I'm like, Bro, he's, he's dead. He's like, I need you to stop, and I need you to get out of the car, and I need you to find the other cat. Are you kidding? No, Rob, get out of the car. I also do dry cleaning, so I had actually like a string of clothes in the back. In the bag. Come out, pick up the cat. And I walk down the street, and I go to the first house. These are long driveways, right? You guys have been there. I go down the driveway, I ring the doorbell. <clears throat> this guy comes to the door, big holly guy, like big. I'm not that big. The guy's big. <laughs> Sir, is this your <clears throat> easy enough? Go back up the street. Cops sitting there, I'm like, dude, it's not his cat. He's like, You're not done. <laughs> Fucking kidding me? <laughs> down, next door. Ring the doorbell. <clears throat> guy comes to the door, daughter's behind him. Sir, is this your cat? No, I haven't seen it. Do you happen to know, like, any by any chance, anybody that has a cat? He's like, I think there's an old lady that lives, like, one door down over the gulch. <laughs> Fuck. Walk up. Cops like, did you find it? No. Keep going. So I walk down the driveway. In the doorbell. Can't hear footsteps. 
This old, like, Japanese lady comes to the door, opens it, like, all slow, short. And you, like, almost as soon as she opened the door, you could see it in her eyes. Ma'am, is this your cat? She says, she says, yes. I says, I'm so sorry. I was heading up the hill. I, I, I had no time. I'm sorry. I, I ran over your cat. And she was, like, devastated. I said, man, but I, there's something I, I, I mean, at least let me, if I, if I can. And I said, I'll be right back. So I walk up the driveway, ch- 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 cops up there. I'm like, dude, it's her. We're good. <laughs> and um, I open up the console to my Lexus, and I have like 120 bucks in there, and I grab it, and I come back down, and the cop follows me down. And I says, ma'am, I'm really, really sorry. Like, at the very least, please take this, and perhaps that you can find a new cat at the shelter, um, and, you can, and you can buy a new cat. And... She just grabs the money and she looks at it and the cop pushes me out of the way. What the fuck, dude? And he puts the handcuffs on her and he arrests her. For selling pussy. Ah!